Welcome, everyone. Merry Christmas season to you all. Bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a sermon by St. Maximus of Turin, Bishop. The Mystery of the Lord's Baptism At Christmas he was born a man. Today he is reborn sacramentally. Then he was born from the Virgin. Today he is born in mystery. When he was born a man, his mother Mary held him close to her heart. When he is born in mystery, God the Father embraces him with his voice when he says, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The mother caresses the tender baby on her lap. The father serves his son by his loving testimony. The mother holds the child for the magi to adore. The father reveals that his son is to be worshipped by all the nations. For when the Savior is washed, all water for our baptism is made clean purified at its source for the dispensing of baptismal grace to the people of future ages. Christ is the first to be baptized. Then so that Christians will follow after him with confidence. I understand the mystery as this. The column of fire went before the sons of Israel through the Red Sea so they could follow on their brave journey. The column 
went first through the waters to prepare a path for those who followed. As the Apostle Paul said, what was accomplished then was the mystery of baptism. Clearly, it was baptism in a certain sense when the cloud was covering the people and bringing them through the water. But Christ the Lord does all these things in the column of fire he went through the sea before the sons of Israel. So now, in the column of his body, he goes through baptism before the Christian people. At the time of the Exodus, the column provided light for the people who followed. Now it gives light to the hearts of believers. Then it made a firm pathway through the waters. Now it strengthens the footsteps of faith in the bath of baptism. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.